What's up guys, my name is GameNut321 and welcome back to another X Defiant video. So first of all, I want to thank you guys for all the comments you left in the last couple videos. You guys had a lot of different opinions about X Defiant and Black Ops 6 and which one you think is going to do better. Of course, I want both games to flourish, but at the same time, I'm kind of tired of Call of Duty and X Defiant is just such a good game to play, especially this summer. This is a great time for the game to come out. But we're going to talk about the recent patch that just came out. I don't know the name of the patch, but I do know a couple things that they did adjust. So they did adjust some of the net code. I know a lot of people are dying behind corners and things like that. I have full faith that X Defiant is going to fix that down the road. It's still in preseason, but they did adjust it. It is noticeable, but you still are going to die behind those walls sometimes. And as well, they added flinch to snipers because there was a bug that there was no flinch on the snipers. So I tried to test it out with my golden TAC 50, and you're seeing some gameplay right now. I do get shot from here and there, but because this gun is built to have fast ADS speed, I'm just shooting them first, and it's like I don't even feel the flinch. But I do have some footage here of me hard scoping on some maps, and I'm just sitting there waiting to get shot, and you can see that the flinch is kicking in. It's not super jarring like in Call of Duty where as soon as you get shot, your screen just goes up instantly and it's very jarring. But in X Defiant, it's actually very smooth and you can manage it. So if you're getting shot and you can predict the direction your gun is going to flinch, it's kind of hard to do that. But you can still adjust the flinch and just move it down or back up or just like counter move it in the opposite direction if it's going and you can still get the one shot. So this is going to really suck for hard scopers, but for quick scopers, we like to get that first shot so we can, you know, cock back the gun and get the second shot in. I did get some collaterals with the other sniper. I forgot the name of the sniper, but it is much faster than the TAC-50. Even without attachments, I think it ADS is much faster than the TAC-50. But I tried to use that gun, and it's much quicker, but because it's a weaker gun, you have to hit like the upper chest to get a one shot. With attack 50, you can just hit like the lower body and most of the time you will get the one shot. They also added a penalty for all the jump spammers, the bunny hoppers, the guys who would keep pushing space if you're on keyboard or X if you're trying to play on controller or if you have a scuff controller, you're using one of the back paddles. I think that nerf was very necessary. Like I don't mind somebody jumping once or twice or maybe even three times, which the limit is three times before the penalty kicks in. They also added it for crouching. So the people who were crouch spamming, the limit is three. So if you crouch three times, you're gonna start seeing that sway back and forth, which is very needed in this game. I'm so happy they added that, especially before season one. I was hoping that they would add it before season one because we really needed it and they really did. So I'm glad that's the case and they didn't just wait until season one. With the snipers, people are saying that they're too consistent, especially the TAC-50. I find myself sometimes hitting people in like the leg and it'll still one shot. So I'm kind of siding on the side of maybe nerfing the range of the TAC-50. But then again, it might kind of kill snipers because snipers are very finicky. I know I watch FaZe Jeb sometimes. He'll talk about what he thinks about sniping. He mentioned that Call of Duty, it's easier to snipe in Call of Duty. And I, I kind of agree with him because if you look at some of these clips, like if you go watch FaZe Scope and he's using, um, the longbow sniper, I believe, he has a lot of clips where he's just bam, dead, bam, dead, bam, dead. And he's just like back to back to back kills. In X Defiant, you can't necessarily do that because the snipers take a longer time to cock back the bolt to chamber in another one. So at, at the same time, this is more of a movement shooter. I find X Defiant to have much better movement than Call of Duty's. Even though Call of Duty is a movement shooter, it's like X Defiant... There is no prone, so you're not incentivized to, to camp in the corner. And with all the factions around in the game, there's different ways to find people camping, like the Echelon class. You have a personal UAV that can ping them on the map. There's, it's very hard to camp in this game. Even though you still can, this is one of those games where you're encouraged to run around. And because there's no kill streaks, you're more encouraged to run to the point instead of, you know, you spawn enemy Harrier in the sky. Predator missile dropping, um, enemy helicopter in the air, and you just can't get out of spawn, and then people leave, and then all of a sudden it's a 3v6, and then it's just, it's not fun from there. I notice a lot of people staying in their matches because there's no kill streaks, and because sometimes 
that the, the weapon XP, the grind to level up your weapons is very slow. You're more incentivized to get on the point and score some points for your team because that XP goes towards your gun. So overall, everyone gets a better experience. On top of that, there is no skill-based matchmaking, so there's more variety in your games. You'll have one game where everyone's sniping. You'll have one game where everyone's using shotguns. You'll have one game where everyone's using the cleaners and just throwing fire everywhere. The game is just really fun. Call of Duty, I get burnt out playing like three games and I'm just done. And most of the time, I just want, I just want engagements. I just want to fight people. I don't want to run across the map every time I'm dead just to get into an action and like kill one guy and then die. Kill one guy and then die. Kill one guy and then die. It's just... The same thing, spawn die, spawn die, spawn die, you know, that famous Jev clip, the back in what, Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, it's just spawn die, spawn die. I feel like it's like that every year for Call of Duty, and X Defiant, you can tell the spawns are much better than Call of Duty, and I don't know if that has to do with the, the EOMM in Call of Duty where they manipulate where you spawn just to make the enemy team get a free kill off of you, like, oh, this guy is doing really good. He's dead. Let's spawn him next to the enemy so we can die instantly just to balance out his KD a little bit. Like, it's so, it's so artificial how Call of Duty does their spawns, how they do their matchmaking. This should not be, skill-based matchmaking should not be in the casual playlist. I'm sorry. It should only stay in the ranked modes. If you want skill-based matchmaking, play in ranked. A lot of people in this game are getting very upset about them nerfing the movement, for example. Like, I understand... This game is a movement shooter. You got to understand some people will crouch. Some people will slide. Some people will jump. That's the fun part of this game. And I like how there's movement in this game. And it's not just, you know, run and gun and that's it. You know, you can do a lot more than just run in and kill everybody. You can throw your equipment. You can throw a EMP grenade to counter the shields. There's just so much like dynamic things that you can do in X Defiant. And I think that really makes the game a lot more fun than Call of Duty. But I'm curious to see what you guys think down below because this patch that we got was just the beginning. I know that they're going to add Season 1 with the Rainbow Six operators, and that's going to be really cool. The only thing that I have to say about some of the, I guess, the factions in this game, for example, is you know how in Overwatch, if you guys have played Overwatch, where when the game first came out, Overwatch won, like back in 2016... You can have a full team of like tanks or a full team of May and have six Mays on one team. And sure, that's really cool. I know Team Fortress 2, Team Fortress 2 would do that sometimes where you can have like four scouts on one team if you wanted to. But you can easily abuse this tactic to where, say, uh, you're playing the escort mode and the gates are about to open for you to push the payload. You can all go the dead sec faction which has the spider bots all of you can throw down a spider bot and instantly find the enemy team and it'll shock them it'll disable them and you get a free kill or for another example you can go the other class i forgot the name of them I'm still trying to get used to the factions in this game but the shield operators where you can throw down the electric shield sometimes i'll see a team with four of them and like they're just spamming the shields, and the only way to counter it is using an EMP, which is really cool. I'm glad EMP grenades are in here, but it'd be nice if, like, they could limit how many people can play one specific faction, because they had to do that in Overwatch. That's why a lot of people love to do the 2-2-2 comp, two tanks, two supports, two uh, DPS, or two attackers, and it was even that way, and that was the way to go. So I hope down the road... At least for, like, ranked, you can do that. But ranked mode, they only allow four versus four. So I'm curious to know if that's going to be a possibility. Maybe in the casual modes where it's 6v6, they can only allow two of the same, like, ability for those factions. So we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what this game does down the future. I really like how the DeadSec team... They have a passive ability where if you throw your grenade, it sort of 3D prints a second one after a certain amount of seconds, kind of like Scavenger from um, Call of Duty. I don't think that's Scavenger. There's another perk. I, they're doing a lot of weird things with Call of Duty, like the vest system. Like if you have a specific vest on or the demolition vest, if you throw a grenade or a flashbang, you generate a new one every like 20 seconds. So I'm glad it's only tied to just one faction making it unique and it's not just like oh everyone can use it 
I do wish they have smoke grenades in this game, but I feel like smoke grenades can get abused as well, so maybe they can limit that to a specific faction down the road. Maybe in Season 2 when a new faction comes out. I did hear some rumors that uh, for the Far Cry series, there's, there's, a, there's a team. I forgot the name. I don't play a lot of Far Cry, I'm sorry, but there's a team called like the Roadhogs or something. And that's a future faction that's going to come in. So I'm curious to see what that is going to be. But let me know down below what you guys think about X Defiant. I know I made a couple of videos comparing Black Ops 6 to X Defiant, but I'm still enjoying this game. And by the way, if you're playing on PC and you're using the client, the Ubisoft client, you can go into the section where the game is. And at the bottom, there's a challenge section. And if you complete these challenges that refresh every week, they give you tokens like double weapon XP, double battle pass XP, and they also give you some form of, I guess, store currency, and you can use those to redeem rewards. And I don't know if those refresh, but you can get a vector skin right now. It's like a blue vector skin that costs like 100, 130 points, something like that. And you can also redeem them for some weapon XP and maybe like other cosmetics and things like that. But that's just a couple things you can do to increase the grind of your weapons. Because I don't know if we're getting a fourth double weapon XP event because they already gave us three double XP weekends. That'd be crazy if they gave us a fourth double weapon XP event. So I'm curious to see if they're going to do that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.